Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I would like to share with you one simple trick that will save you a lot of time when designing and uh, collecting data using e-questionnaire, okay? So to do this, we need to go uh, to Google Forms, as you know, and go to Forms. And then we start this uh, entitled form like this. We can just put, for instance, the title of the questionnaire, the description, we can see whether we have the email, etc. We can put, for example, the demographic variables. So the Google Forms has this auto suggest uh, function that keeps uh, telling you what to, to say, for example, okay, uh, which is more productive. Another thing, uh, so we can just add everything. So another thing that this Google form uh, does is that it can allow you to have the settings and that we can set all of the questions as required, as you can see with one single click rather than uh, going over each one and putting it as required. So to go to setting, and then we go especially to uh, responses and then we have either to collect the email addresses and then allow response editing and limit to one response for presentation we can show progress bar we can shuffle question order we have this confirmation message etc and then we have for the defaults and the question defaults we have this function of make questions required by default we select it so all the questions are required by default this is the the thing another trick is that we can make this uh, google form a quiz but we need to change the setting so we can put it as a quiz we go to setting and click make quiz and then we have later after manual review to submit the grades and we can just grade each question and give it for example a score like the answer key for example here this is the required but this is just an example to show you uh, how you can do because uh, you need to collect also quizzes and tests in case you want to analyze uh, the data or you can use it for educational purposes. Uh, the, the trick that I would like to show you, show you the most is the, uh, and that will save you a lot of time, is how you can make Lakert scale, uh, for example, in terms of agreement to disagreement Quick. So we need to just put statement, let's say A1, statement 1, and we just need to check linear scale, this one. And then we put, for example, first one strongly disagree, and the last one uh, disagree, okay, or uh, strongly agree, because we have Likert scale coded from 1 to 5. So we have strongly disagree, and then we have strongly uh, agree. Uh, once we finish, we just click OK, and it will uh, appear like this. But I don't need to make it a quiz, so I need just to change the setting from here. So it will appear something like this, if you can see this questionnaire. So these are the questions. It will appear something like this, and this is how it will appear when you collect the data. So you have the questions already coded as you can see. So you don't need to code them. Okay, so this is how you will save a lot of time using this uh, trick. And to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, share this questionnaire, we just go to send and just go to shorten the link, uh, like this to this link, shorten the link, copy it. And we can just post the link to social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, uh, maybe YouTube or even uh, WhatsApp. And you ask the respondents to complete it. In that case, the sampling is called convenience sampling or voluntary sampling, which is non-probability sampling procedure. Okay. Uh, then we have another thing I would like to show you is that when we want to add collaborators, suppose that you want to add your uh, colleagues or other researchers to help you with the questionnaire. So you click add coll uh, collaborators here and just enter their email addresses and you can make uh, them as editor. Then when you get the responses, so you can just uh, get the uh, Google spreadsheet like this by clicking this icon and you will have this google spreadsheet you can again download it from file download 
and Microsoft Excel and then you can analyze it using Microsoft Excel or other uh, software like JASP, like Jamovi, like SPSS, like R, like Python because there are some uh, software or programs that are paid whereas others are uh, let's say for free so you can choose either way okay so these are just the the techniques that you can use when, when you have for example the data like this and you want just to have a small or just brief report you can just copy the graphs like this and paste them into a uh, google documents instead of uh, other uh, word document because if you post it to google uh, like word document sometimes it cannot be posted unless you may be using for instance a google chrome browser so these are just the the tricks that you can use to collect data fast and uh, uh, code the questionnaire okay using especially Likert scale say question formats among others if you have questions or remarks don't hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media platform till then see you in another tutorial bye for now